Kings and welcome on down to What's Trending. So Guyanese public servants get a pay hike of 3 to 9% and minimum wage increases to $70,000. This is great news for public servants but not so good news for someone in particular. I will tell you who when we get back. Hey, something ever surprised you like when you see Tegala, what? Before we get started, give this video a like so I can determine whether you are a hater or non-hater. Good, so new money for Guyanese public servants. Check this. I am pleased, therefore, to make the following announcements of increases, all of which will be tax-free and will be retroactive to 1st of January 2019. Public servants' minimum wage will be increased to $70,000 from $64,220 per month. Public servants earning between $100,000 and under $1 million will receive an 8.5% increase. Public servants earning less than $100,000 will also receive a 9% increase in their salaries. And public servants earning a minimum wage of $64,220 will receive in their December paycheck $69,336, a sum in excess of their base salaries. This is great news and anyone who tells you otherwise is a giant scunt hole. Anyways, somebody decided to close off the third lane on the East Bank Road from the Harbour Bridge to Houston. This was done without any public notice and caused chaos. Fortunately, this only lasted for two days. The third lane was reopened and things seemed to be back to normal. Good morning viewers. We are here at, the, at Peters Hall along the East Bank of Demerara. We're um, traffic coming from the Upper East Bank to Mary, Linden, from the west side um, comes together at this junction and as you can see the police they have reopened the third lane and traffic is flowing three lanes going into Georgetown the third lane traffic was suspended over the last two days and we had seen a chaotic traffic buildup. I'm pointing this out to say to policymakers, if you plan to implement a system that will affect thousands of persons, the least you can do is give us a warning. Don't let this scunt happen again. Before we continue, if you're new to this channel, go ahead and become a valued member for free by pressing that subscribe button and turn on post notifications so you can get updates when we post new videos. Now let's move on to the fun stuff. I came across this interview with a Nigerian interviewing someone from Dubai. What you will hear now, you will find will hit home. Watch Skunt Hey! You know, a lot of people wonder how Dubai became a very big famous and rich um, city you see if you are if you're comparing with Nigeria listen to this Nigeria has oil before than Dubai it's a history they are more rich than us they have agriculture they have mining they have everything you name it they have it am I right or wrong when you have a true leadership which we have we have nothing but we have everything because we have the right leadership that's the only thing you need a right leader for your country, not corruption. That's what brings your country at the top. You don't need anything. We don't have, we want water, we don't have agriculture, we don't have mining. Let that sink in. In the meanwhile, for those of you who are unhappy because of superficial issues you have with your body, get over it. Watch Skunt Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Yo, if you want to see more scunts, click this playlist up here. That's it for this episode of What's Trending. My name is Mudwato. Boom out! Hold up.